What's good traders? I'm about to pull back the curtain and show you exactly how I approach backtesting Paradox Algo. This is how I personally dive deep into the settings, experiment with different configs, and find what actually works. Let's get into it. All right, clean chart up. First thing we got to address this data mode setting right here. You've got real time and historical. And honestly, this has been one of our hottest topics in the community. Here's what's actually happening. Real time analyzes the current open Heikinashi candle while it's still forming. Historical waits for that candle to close completely before reading it. Now, signal wave and trend score always use confirmed data regardless of what you pick but this setting affects how those Heikinashi trend conditions behave. I'll be straight with you, we originally built Paradox with real-time in mind. The algo was designed to catch trend detection as it's happening live, which puts you in position for those high-quality entries right when momentum shifts. The trade-off is you might see some repainting, trades that appear then disappear as that open candle changes. Historical mode gives you 100% guarantee against repainting. Every signal you see is locked in. Our best-performing shared configs use real-time because that's where we've seen the strongest results over time. Both modes are totally valid. If you want zero repainting and don't mind potentially missing some of those prime entries, historical is your move. If you want the algo operating at its full potential and can handle occasional repainting, real-time is where the magic happens. Trade filters. This is where you make it yours. Weekends get filtered automatically, but Fed events and major holidays need manual attention. I just turn off my webhook alerts beforehand. Better safe than sorry, especially when you're running multiple positions. Max trade limits. Never go unlimited. That's not strategy. That's chaos. I personally bounce between 3 to 5 per day depending on market conditions and what I'm trading. You gotta find your sweet spot through experimentation. This is what I love about our community though. Every trader brings something different to the table. Those configs we share in Discord, treat them like templates, not final answers. Take what works, modify what doesn't, add your own twist. That's how we discover new winning combinations. Position sizing. This is make or break territory. I use the daily 10% rule religiously, especially when trading multiple assets from one account. Let's break it down. $1,000 account, 20 crypto pairs, max 3 trades each per day. Worst case scenario, 60 trades all go red in one day. You never want to risk more than 10% daily. So, 10 divided by 60 equals roughly 0.16% per trade. Prop firms work the same way, but calculate off your max drawdown instead of account size. 150k eval with $4,500 max drawdown means you're working with 10% of that $4,500. For futures traders using contracts instead of percentages, stick to micro contracts, way better risk management when you're dialing in your sizing. It's totally normal to see a killer backtest and every fiber in your body wants to size up and chase those big wins. I've watched good traders torch their accounts because they got drunk off a few winners and started risking 10%, 20%, even half their stack per trade. Then the algo hits a rough patch and they're done. The difference between pros and everyone else comes down to this. We calculate what we can lose, not what we can win. That's what keeps you in the game long enough for the edge to play out. If a red day has you losing sleep, you sized too heavy. Multiple TP system. This is honestly genius. First TP should be easy money, like 30 to 50% of your risk. Quick scalp, bank the win, move on. But you're not leaving money on the table because TP2 and TP3 are sitting there ready to cap capture those bigger moves. Always match your stop loss to that third TP level. Creates this beautiful risk reward balance where your worst loss equals your best win. Stop loss management gets interesting with our dynamic features. Stop moves to break even. After TP1 hits, slides up to TP1. After TP2 tags. Plus, we've got trailing functionality. Gives your winners room to breathe while locking in profits along the way. Entry conditions. This is where the the real customization happens. Deep Wave has been my secret weapon lately. Most people are completely sleeping on this filter. It's reading volatility in real time and blocking trades when things get too spicy. Anything over one means volatility's running hot, under zero and the market's basically flatlining. That golden zone between zero and one is where the magic happens. I run low volatility mode with the threshold at 
8 for crypto gives it breathing room since crypto is naturally more volatile. Futures like NQ and ES, I drop it to 1 since they're more controlled. EFO entry is solid, but it's kind of a rebel. Works best on its own or maybe paired with Deep Wave at most. MA conditions play nice with Stochastic and Deep Wave, but EFO likes to march to its own beat. Cooldown period just dropped and it's a game changer. Let's say you set it to your primary trend time frame. So after a trade closes, the algo waits for that time frame's candle to finish before hunting again. Completely eliminates those rapid fire re-entries that can shred accounts, especially with minimal entry conditions. Quick tech note, keep using standard OHLC enabled under properties. Even when you're viewing regular candles, this ensures your fills happen at actual price levels instead of some fantasy land. Custom sessions. I keep it simple. One hybrid setup works for most futures and prop trading. Crypto runs 24-7, obviously, so I split sessions to dodge funding periods and keep intraday setups clean. Pro tip for premium members, replay mode is your friend for accurate backtesting. Watch trades unfold in real time instead of just staring at static results. You'll catch nuances the regular strategy tester completely misses. The shared configs in Discord are solid foundations, but don't just copy-paste and call it done. Study them, understand the logic, then experiment. Mix different time frames, blend entry conditions, adjust risk parameters. That's how we uncover combinations that maybe even I haven't tested yet. Every trader is wired differently. My approach might not match your style, and that's perfectly fine. The goal isn't following some rigid playbook, it's understanding these principles so you can adapt and experiment with confidence. Stay alive first, profit second. Second. Size smart, test thoroughly, let the math work for you. Catch me in Discord for any questions.